Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to showcase a quick capture app that I've been using for the last little while uh, so that I can brain dump my ideas while I'm out on the go using my phone. I just have to dictate my ideas and then it will transcribe that information into an outline uh, format that I can then use to export as a markdown uh, file, which means that it'll work with both Obsidian and LogSeq so that I can incorporate uh, this into my digital mind workflow. So that app is VoiceLiner. It's a free app available on uh, Google and the App Store. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how uh, the app works, how I use it, as well as what the workflow looks like for getting information that I've recorded into my digital mind. So let's dive in and take a look. So at the beginning of the day, what I'll do is I'll go to the VoiceLiner app and then I will create a new outline that I'm gonna use throughout the day. But instead of naming it with today's date, I'll name it with tomorrow's date. And I'll explain why I do that in a second. But I'll want to use the same format that I use for Obsidian and LogSeq daily note pages. That way when I export the markdown file, it will automatically add it to the day's daily note page. So you can just click down at the bottom to set up a new outline, change the date, and then click create. So if I see the one here that I have created for today, I have it ready to go. And then when I want to record uh, an idea, brain dump something, I can just hit the record, uh, hold to record button and then uh, just say whatever I want. So this would be another good idea for a literature note, hashtag literature underscore note. And then it will transcribe that note for me. One thing that I find useful about the just speaking instead of having to type with my, with my fingers is that I can kind of think out loud a little bit more and get more information. And I sometimes find I generate more insights being able to speak versus uh, type things out. So I find that really useful. The other cool thing about the app is that it's an outliner style. So I can indent different ideas very easily by swiping them left and right. You can uh, drag them up and around and move them around the same way you would in an outliner like LogSeq or Rome Research. And then what I'll do is just record my notes here throughout the day. And then the next day when I'm processing my inbox uh, in the morning, I can then export my file as a markdown to the uh, journals folder where I have my Obsidian Vault uh, saved. So I'll just save it in the journals. Now I use Obsidian Sync to sync all my files across my devices. So once I'm done doing that, I'll just quickly open up my Obsidian Graph to uh, upload and sync it, and then it's there available for me. So once it's done syncing, I now have this information available across all my devices uh, to be able to process. I, I typically like processing at my uh, computer with a full uh, keyboard and mouse setup, but I can send this information uh, where it needs to go depending on what type of information it is. Currently, I'm using Notion for managing my content creation, so I can just, you know, copy and paste anything from here into my Notion dashboard. Same thing for anything that is a task or a someday maybe that I want to consider. It can go where it needs to go. And then for the digital mind, kind of personal knowledge management uh, portion where I'm making evergreen notes, I just want to make sure that if it is an evergreen note uh, or literature note that I have an idea about, that I wanna make sure that it's tagged as such, as well as adding then any keywords, you know, that I might want to uh, ensure that it's gonna be discoverable under the right context when I am looking at making, uh, crafting my evergreen notes. I've been really enjoying using this app for the last little while. I've I found that it's reduced the friction for quick capture while I'm away from my computer in a really, uh, really good way. I like how it can uh, send files, markdown files, so that I can easily get it into my system to be able to process. So that's 
voice liner if you haven't checked it out uh recommend doing so it's free there's really no risk to giving it a shot let me know if you found this video useful if it gave you any ideas if you have any ideas for how i can improve it i would all always love to hear about it and i will see you all next time